Uh, all right, uh, let's go like this. Uh, day three, advent of code. O camel, start. All right, so I'm terrible at O camel, okay? I'm still not good at O camel. I'm under no illusion that I'm good at O camel. So please don't expect something incredible to happen. You and the elf eventually reach a gondola lift station. He says the gondola lift will take you up to the water source, but this is as far as he can bring you. You go inside. Damn, what is this, like Gandalf? Uh, it doesn't take long to find the gondolas, but there seems to be a problem. They're not moving. Ah! You turn around and see a slightly greasy elf with a wrench and a look of surprise. Sorry, I wasn't expecting anyone. The gondola lift isn't working right now. <laughs> It'd still be a while before I can fix it. You offer to help. Yes, I do. I do voices. Okay. I do voices. I just want you to know that I read to my kids all the time and I do a lot of voices. Just want you to know the engineer. The engineer explains that an engine part seems to be missing from the engine, but nobody can figure out which one. If you can add up all the part numbers in the engine schematic, it should be easy to work out which part is missing. Okay, fantastic. Uh, oh, this is gonna be hard for me, dude. Because, uh, dude, I am not a good, I am not a good string parser in O Camler yet. I am not. Do a furry voice. Do the primogen furry voice. I'm not a furry. For the last time. Okay, I am not a furry. Here's an example of the engine schematic. Okay, so there's some stuff going on. So there's some dots, some numbers, some stars, some pound me's, some plus signs, some dollar signs. Okay, so there's a set. In this schematic, two numbers are not. Oh, two numbers are not part numbers because they are not adjacent to the symbol. 114 at the top right and 58 middle right. Okay. Okay. I don't understand what they're saying. Okay, let's just find out. Okay, hold on. Let's just hear what they have to say. All right, every other number is adjacent to a symbol, and so is a part number. There's some, okay, so, okay, hold on. Dude, this was, this is literally the worst explanation I've ever heard in my entire lifetime. I have no, I have, oh, okay, did I miss one? Did I miss something? Okay, let me just start up here. The engine schematic, your puzzle input, consists of visual representation of the engine. There's lots of numbers and symbols you don't really understand, but apparently any number adjacent to a symbol, even diagonally, is a part number, and you should be able to include, include it in your sum. Periods do not count as symbols. Okay, okay. So diagonal would be this one. So seven is adjacent to this. Therefore, 457 is one. 114 is not adjacent to any symbol at all. Therefore, no. Okay, so this does sound hard in a functional language. This sounds hard in a functional language for show. Okay. This does sound hot. Could I speed run this one in JavaScript? Hell yeah, girl. I could speed run this one so good. I could speed run this one so, so good. I could speed run this one so good. Dude, so good. So good. Uh, let's see. In this schematic, okay, 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 okay. The uh, two numbers are not part of the numbers because they are not adjacent to symbols. Okay, so this one's not adjacent and this one's not adjacent. Okay, I see. I get this. All right, so I'm going to go pee and then I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this so good. Welcome to Costco. I love you. It, we had to go fast. All right, all right, all right. We went fast. Uh, we're, back, we're back at it. We got, we had, we had stuff to do, people. All right, I don't want to keep listening to this song. I want something different. I don't want this either. I, I really enjoyed. I really enjoyed like. All right, so I think the only way I can do this is this. I think the only way, okay, okay. I'm willing to do this as a speed run. We'll do a bet. Let's do a bet. Hey, Code Swat, thank you very much. Are you guys ready to do a bet? I think I could do this well. I think I can do this well. So we're going to do a start prediction. Uh, we're going to go like this. Uh, part one in JavaScript. I'm going to go 5, 8, 12, 12. 
you get the idea. Anything less than five wins, anything between five, uh, five and eight, anything between eight and 12, anything greater than 12. Don't be a dick, okay? Nobody, uh, nobody cares, okay? All right, so we, we start here. Did I, oh, I think I named it incorrectly, but you get the idea. So let's just do this. Let's crush it out. Oh, okay, there we go. Day, uh, day three, part one in JS. So how fast do you think I can do it? I have, I think I have an idea. I think I know how to do this. This one is a nutcracker. Boy, I'm still struggling. It's not too bad. Now, here's my only question. What are the symbols? Are, is this all the symbols or is there more symbols? Like, that's my only question is what kind of symbols are there? Do I have to go searching for all the symbols or have they enumerated all the symbols? See, I see a percent sign. Anything that isn't a period. Okay, so anything that's not a period. Okay, okay. Yeah, because that, that's an obvious question we have to ask. Anything that's not a, a, a numeric or a dot. Okay, is that what a symbol is? Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So anything that's a number is a number. Anything that's a dot is a, is a, is a, is a noop. And anything else is a symbol. Okay. Cool. 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 I'm not doing a regex. Everybody knows this. Everybody knows that I do not do regexes. Okay. So this is the bets we have. I think we can do that. I didn't get to predict Maria. I'm sorry. Sucks to suck. This is just a part of it. Are you guys ready to do this? Are you guys ready to do this? Are you guys ready to do this? I am ready. Okay, so first thing I got to go is I got to go like this. Uh, we're going to go to Google and we're going to go. We got to get that little timer out. We got to stop this thing. We got to go to a stopwatch. And I got to get a good song on. You know what I mean? I got to get the right song on. All right, hold on. What's the song after this? What comes after this? No, 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 no. See, I don't want this song after this. I need something better than that. Oh, let's see. What do we got here? Okay, okay. This gives me this gives me a good four songs. So I have at least a good, I have a good about fourteen minutes of songs. Okay. All right. I'm gonna turn this up a little bit, and we're gonna press play, and we're gonna we're gonna speed run this. Okay, everybody. It's time for the speed run. Let's do this. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All right. Let me let me let me go over here. Oh, I don't even have a I don't even have a terminal open. All right. Uh, what is this? Uh, I'm just going to call it day three. For you guys, for you guys. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, I do I go like this? I go param uh, char uh, string, right? That should hopefully give it enough information to know what to do here. Come on, just make it happen. No! Gosh, you suck! Uh, oh, sorry. I could do that. That's fine with me. That's fine with me. All right, good. Uh, contents. Uh, let's go like this. Let's go uh, for let i equal zero. I has to be less than. Yes. Let's see. 
Oh, uh, yeah. Ye I think that's right. Okay, so we got this one. We got this one. We got the one. Let's see. That I, I got to go like this. What are, what are we doing here? I go YX. So I got negative one, negative one. I got zero, negative one. Then we got one, negative one. Then we got uh, negative one on the Y, but not the X. That's straight down. This is so strange. Then we got the positive. Then we got the negative one, one. Then we got that one, and then we got that. Okay, good. We got them all. I just wanted to make sure. Yeah, I don't think I care about any of that. Uh, uh, can I do that? Yeah. All right, good. Uh, I uh, I plus y x plus j return. Let's just have that in there. I just want to make that easy. I think that's about where we want to be. Uh, okay, so we're gonna go through all of this. So I'm gonna actually rename these things uh, y to make it easy. There we go. So I got a const. Uh, yep. All right. So let's see. Okay. So we got all the cons. We got all this thing. I'm not even looking at Copilot because it's just gonna distract me. Stop distracting me. What are we going to do here? We're going to go this. We need to grab the row, then we're going to check every single character in that row for it. For let I, uh, uh, let's go X equals zero. I, uh, X has to be less than, shut up! Oh my goodness, I hate Copilot sometimes. I don't know if the rows are the same size, right? Welcome to Costco. I love you. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, what are we doing here? Let's go like this. Yep. All right. And if we're in number and we need the check, then we're going to do this. So let's go like this. All right. So now what do I need to do here? I need to go like this. Let's go const uh, is. Why not? Then... Yep, okay, let's go to Durs. Not is dot. We want something different. It's not is number and it's not is dot. Wow, that is just terrible, people. Who just, who did that for me? All right, so we're going to do the DXDY. Do, 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 do. Okay, there we go. We got this. So the moment we find that, we just rip through it. We get that. If we do have an is, if is, then guess what? Okay. No, 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 no. Now we need to actually gather the number together. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Yes, I like it. 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 All right.
There we go. That's good. That's good. Okay, that's good. That's good. We got the current number. We get all those things. So I think I actually got this thing potentially correct, people. Is number... Oh, gosh. All right, I think I got this thing correct. I think I got this thing correct. I want... The song isn't, like, energy, energetic enough. You know what I mean? It's, it's good. It's just not energetic enough. You know what I mean? Um, all right, so do we got anything else? Um, and... Um, Got it. Got it. So we got the borders. We got the is char, not as char, not as dot, and not undefined. We got all the borders. We got everything. We should be able to run that. If it is, then we go. Then we do this. We set all these things to false, and we just keep running while there are numbers. And no matter what, if we're in a number here, I'm actually going to drop this one, and I'm going to drop this one, and I'm going to drop this one, and I'm going to go like this. We'll just keep track of the entire number the whole time, right? So that way there's no tricky logic there. Okay. Oh no. Uh-oh, that's not what I wanted. Uh, what is the thing called? It's called day three. Let's also go like this. I get that last line. Get the hell out of here. You know what I mean? Is number? You're tell Oh, shoot. Oh, crap. Uh, what's the thing called? It's called... Um, there we go. All right. What's the thing called? Cannot do this. Wait, what? Oh, yeah, 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 Is number is not a function. Did we get this? Done. Done. Stop. This is two days in a row. This is two effing days in a row that I get right after 10. Literally right after 10. All right, let's see. Did I get it right? Did Jaboy get it right? Okay, now here's the real check. Here's the ultimate check of life. Am I a real winner or am I just a loser? All right, I could still be a loser. I can still, I, 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 I'm still, I, Full, full loser. Uh, what is it? D3? That seems entirely too large. I'm very worried about that number. That seems entirely too large. There's just no, ain't no way that that's real. Ain't no way. I am a loser. Because look at that. There's no way. Like, look at all these numbers. There just ain't no way. Ain't no way. It's not right. Genuinely upset about this. Because just looking in here, they're, they're all three-digit numbers. Damn. I must have goofed something up. <gasps> I know what I goofed up! I know what I goofed up. Dang it. I know what I goofed up. I guess we, like, do we just start this back over? Is that what we do? Do we keep on going with the timer? Scale issue. I had... I had, 
I guess I started again. I, I, I think I deserve at least a 10 second penalty for such, for such naughtiness. We're in. Okay. Oh, wait. No, I don't know what's wrong. <gasps> what is it, Porque Maria? Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I thought I had it. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Dang it. That was it. Shit. That must be it. That must be it. Oh, no. No, that's it. Hold on. All right, I guess it's debugging time. Yeah, see, we've, we're having this. Where, where's 704? Where's 704? Where's 704? 704, uh, 443? So How? Porque Maria, how, how are you still going? I thought I, I thought I killed you. I thought I killed. Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I forgot to reset it. I forgot to reset this. Damn, damn it. Here, let's go like this. Um. you damn that is just like that is just this is just this is just a effing tragedy tech fake ass influencer all right what did i do wrong here i must be missing something that's very very simple that's just right in front of me that i just don't even see it right it just must be just sitting right there uh it sucks to suck you know what i mean sucks to sucks netflix by the way exposed by the way simple by the way what what is the edge case do you think i wonder what the edge case is i'm missing right there must be something so simple that i'm missing because i don't want to have to check each one of them Number ending on a new line's easy. We already got that thing done, right? Shoot. You know what? I'm so lame. I got it wrong. I got it wrong. I got it wrong because I'm a dummy. Dang it. it pisses me off. <laughs> I should have degraded to Amazon video. I should have. Dude, I'm so stupid. Okay, now, honestly, real talk. Real talk. I have absolutely no idea how to do this in OCaml. Okay, like I have none. Because this involves like I could program OCaml. Welcome to Costco. Costco. I love you. Hey, thank you. I love you too, baby. Now, how would I do this at OCaml, right? This is going to be peak comedy. Is this 5 hour speed run incoming? Uh Tilo K, thank you. Easy points. I know easy points. You skip uh, skipping numbers that are on the end of the line. Yeah, I know. I already did that. I yeah, I I know. I I did that. I I I realized that once. I was like, "Wait a second. I'm doing this check right here, but I'm not doing it at the end in case I 
am still in a number, right? I'm still in a number and I have nothing to check. We're done, right? So this is going to be difficult. I'm trying O camera right now. So I don't know how to do this other than extremely imperative, right? Like I, I, I think I have to just simply program O camel. You know what I mean? As O camel would expect it to be programmed. And then it's also, <sighs> all right, so I have a different idea. I have a different idea for how I'm going to do this OCaml one. Are you ready for this different idea? My different idea is the following. Keep it as a string. Parse through the string until I find a number. When I find a number, get the bounds of that string. Then... If I could just create another string that is a box around that string, I then just have to check, is there a symbol in it? I mean, it's still very, I, I don't see how to do this functionally, right? I don't see how to do this functionally. I have absolutely no idea how to do this functionally. Like, I, lit I don't. I have none. I have none clue. I, I don't have a clue as to how to do this. Now, I could do two passes. Okay, so here. Hey, 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 hey. I could do two passes. You kind of started with reduce. Okay, I got two passes. If I go over the string twice, what I could do is this. Is I could find every single... Get this. Hear me out. Hear me out. I could go. I could make. I could go over every single. Shit, that sucks too. That all sucks. This all sucks. This is just. It just all sucks. It's all just a big ass suck. A big ass suck. Okay. Actually, no. See, the problem is, is that like everything, everything, everything. Everything in functional land, it doesn't make any sense to me. Right? Everything in functional land equals difficult. I don't know how to do, I don't know how to do it. Just use monads, bruh. Um, wait till you see mine, I know. Maybe I should use chat jippity. Uh, all right, so anyways. BSF. So I was so so my idea is to effectively that. Oh, Zeb, thank you very much. Okay, so here's my idea. Do it in Rust. No, Rust is easy. We're not doing it in Rust. This is stupid. Uh, we want to do it in OCaml because we're trying to learn. All right. I already speed ran JavaScript. It's easy peasy. This is not a difficult problem. This is a very simple problem. It's not hard. There's going to be some form of recursion. Okay, Judah, I like where you're at here. All right, so here is my next idea. Is that if I have... Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Rip people uh, taking them hours. Wait a second. Should I just use an, a list of strings? Okay, what happened if... What, hey, hear me out on this one. What if I did a list of strings? Okay. I like this, a list of strings, because I can index into strings, right? We can index into strings. We can just, sw we can swim inside those strings, okay? Just swim. We can swim right inside those strings all we want. I like this, okay? We're in the right track here. We're going to have a list of strings. Yeah, swim inside. Yep, take notes, take notes. And what if I have a function that accepts three strings? The previous string, the current string, and the next Welcome string. To Costco. I love you. Okay. Okay. And then I have a match case that has three valid strings or two valid strings. Okay. The third one will be an option. It'll be a, a function that takes in three values. Two strings. No. It's going to have to be option string, string, option string. 
right? Because the only one we're uh, the only one we're considering is that. So now we have three cases. Then what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to find a number range. We need to over-engineer. Well, oh, dude, I don't know how to do this, okay? I, this is functional, bro. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Option, uh, current, before, yes, yes, exactly. This is like in my head. This is kind of what I'm thinking because, you know, first row, you don't have the previous row. Last row, you don't have the, la you don't have the one afterwards. Welcome to Does that make sense? So it kind of seems like there's two, there's two potential cases there. Either way, you have two strings and three string rows, right? So that's what's kind of like what I'm trying to describe. I guess you don't really need to think about it as previous or next. You can just have string plus a list of strings. And then I could pad the strings if they're not long enough. Is there like string repeat? Is there string repeat, O camel? Yeah, I could do a string at the at the beginning and the end. That's a that's a good idea. Just do a string a, a string of periods beginning and end. It's that's a, that's a possibility. But I don't see this is disgusting. I don't want to do that. Your string 20 takes one parameter, but you're calling it recursive with two parameters. Okay, yeah, I know, but this is disgusting. I don't. Do I have to do that? Is there any other way I can just say, like, do it? Ew. I mean, yeah. Welcome to Costco. I, I love you. you. I love you, too. I love you. I love you so much. Um... All right, well, it doesn't matter. We're learning OCaml, so I don't care if we program stupid things. So let's get ready to program some stupid things. You guys ready to program some stupid things? Yes. Let's program some stupid things, okay? You ready to program some stupid things? Let's do it. Okay. Welcome to Costco. I, I love, love you. you. Um, let's just program some stupid things. All right, so to be completely fair... What I want to do is I'm going to do this the easiest way. I will create a string. Gosh, there's so many steps in my head, and they all seem hard in functional land. Why do they all seem hard? It's like my brain can't handle it. Um, my brain is literally I, – I, I might be too stupid to program in functional land. I might be too stupid. Honestly, this all sounds hard functionally. All right. All right. All right, here we go. All right. All right, let's let's feel it. Are you guys feeling it? Are you guys feeling it? Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? You know you guys know what you're You know what I'm talking about, you dirty dogs. Right? Do I go like this? Uh, uh, let's go print end line. Let's just make sure I got everything looking good. All right, good. I still Welcome remember to how to program this godforsaken language. You. Okay. All right, so. So I'm going to do this. We're going to have the world's most cursed max function of all time. Are you guys ready for the world's most cursed max function of all time? Yes. If A is greater than B and A is greater than C, then A. If B is greater than A and B is greater than C, then B, else C. Okay, good. We're maxing. We're maxing out. We're maxing out, boys. All right, so now that we've maxed out, the next thing we need is recursive Fibonacci sequence. What the hell do you think I'm doing? What the hell do you think I'm doing here? All right. All right. What do we got here? All 
All right, we want. Let's see. Uh, do a little. We got to do a little rectum. You know what I'm talking about? Uh, yes, that. Yes, yes, yes. All right, this is looking good. So we got to. We got to repeat. We got to. We got to int. We got to repeat, and we're looking good. Okay. All right. So now, what's the next thing? Now, I could be stupid, and I could just walk the list every single time, but my insides don't want to do that. But I'm going to. I think I'm just going to do this, okay? I, I'm just going to do it. You know why? Because that's what we do around here, okay? That's just what we do around here, okay? Welcome to Costco. I love it's you. just what we do, okay? We're just going to do this. So I don't know. I, I, I honestly don't know how to do this functionally. I know there's better ways to do this, so just walk with me. I don't know how to create an iterator that would walk a list producing the previous and the next, right? Like, I, I don't know how to do that. I don't know how to do that. So we're going to have to do this the old-fashioned way, which is just emotional pain, okay? Right now, I'm just kind of, you know, I'm just trying to get used to, you know, I'm just trying to get used to it. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know how to do that yet. You know what I'm talking about? All right, 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 all right. All right, all right, hold on. What are we doing here? How do we do this? Damn, how do we do this? I mean, I can see it in my head. This is so simple, but I don't know how to do it. All right, all right, calm down. Calm down, baby. Baby, calm down. Baby, calm down. Um, all right. So first thing I'm going to do is go like this. I want to go like this. Let rec get max. Okay. I think I can actually drop this max. I can drop this max. And I'm going to make it into a two-letter max. Okay. All right. We can just do that. This is easy. Yep. Make it happen. All right. We're going to just get, get max uh, length. Okay. I'm just going to cheat. I'm just going to cheat. You know why? Because this is what I'm going to do. Okay. Yes. Yes, I love this. I love this. That's exactly what I wanted. Okay, so now that we have that rectum, absolutely. Okay, now we're going to go like this. Let rec... Um, all right, we're going to get the max length, and we're going to go like this. Let uh, rec... Uh, let's see. Instead of just having repeat, let's have let rec... Uh, not just repeat string, but let's have uh, uh, normalize stir. Stir equals S and max, right? There we go. And so... If that is less than that, we're going to normalize this with a dot. With a dot. Uh, hold on. My kids are bursting in. We found Indy. We found Indy? Yeah, she's yeah. in the guest room. Yeah, she's in the guest room. I thought I heard one break. But uh, uh, somebody will dash now. Oh, no, 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 no,
turns out one of our kids ran upstairs to go grab something. We have this like little teeny, it's like a guest room above our garage. And dear sweet little little da- daughter of mine ran up there yesterday. And she accidentally locked the dog in there. Yeah. I honestly thought our dog was dead. Yeah, I was really sad. Good news. I know, I know, but, but imagine if we would have never heard her. You know, I don't spend any time in the garage. Right? It's very scary. Yeah, it's like horror, right? What, what, I mean, imagine, yeah, the dog's alive and, and great. We got, we're going to get her water and get her food. And my wife was crying a bunch yesterday. Very, very sad. She did not bark. No, not a single bark. She's a very good dog. Just sat up there and whimpered. One of my kids was walking through the garage and thought she, thought she heard a cry. Went and told my mom, or my mom, her mom, my beautiful wife. <sighs> Man, I, we, the, 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 the Primogen family was in, in shambles yesterday, okay? Shambles this morning. Wife was crying this morning about it. Whew. Anyways, naked girl almost running on totally ruined the moment. There's like this sweet moment of them telling me Indy was here. I was so happy. And the little naked baby almost ran on to the screen. Almost just like caused the worst possible outcome to everything. Of all time. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be right back, okay? I'll be right back. I'm going to be right back. I got to go say, oh, this is awesome. Okay, so I'm going to be right back. Sorry, I got to be right back. I just f- scared the crap out of me, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right back, and then we're going to f- crush this out. <sighs> All right, sorry about that. We're back in. We're back in. I don't like this song. I don't like this song at all. I do like, I think I like this one. Yes, I do. All right, it's going to start right after this one. All right. Do you sit on a ball, sir? Yes. All right. So we're going to have this thing that's normalized string. So if it's less than max, we're going to do that. We're going to Oh, no, 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 no. It has to be that. Yeah. No, dude, stop it, copilot. Why are you so shitty? Okay. So I'm just going to create all the strings and create them all the same length. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, we're just making this easy because I don't know how to do OCaml, okay? I don't know how to do it. Okay, I don't know how to do OCaml. Uh, uh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, this all looks correct. I think that's right, right? Is that right? Is that how you do this? That's how you do this. This seems so inefficient to me. I don't quite understand the stuff, but I get that we're constructing a list here. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I created them all the same length. Everything is the exact same length now. There we go. So now I just have this one large way to just take a list and make them all the exact same every single time. And so that means I need to be able to take a file and read it all into that uh, let rec read a file, right? I think that's, uh, I think, uh, what do we got to do here? I don't know how to read a file all, but let's see. Read a file uh, to list of strings OCaml. I know how to read files one at, one at the same time. They're all the same length. Are they all the same length? Is that a guarantee? Are they all the same length? Okay, good. Well, I'm going to add a period to all the ends. You know why? Because I am a genius. Okay. (laughs) 
anyways. Uh, so real question. Oh, when you rearranged the stream room, why didn't you uh, put it to where your face, where you face the door so that interactions like that could not have a chance to happen? Uh, it, it was impossible for me to do that. But that's very good. That's a very good way to do that. It's just that's not possible for me to do. I only have two walls painted green and I have uh, I had to spend a lot of money to get the foam up. And it's all against walls that aren't green. And then I also have a workbench. So I'd have to take out my workbench and paint a new wall green and remove all the stuff. It'd be a lot. It'd be a lot of effort. So paint your children green. Problem solved. Yeah. Wow. That terrified me. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm still working on a workbench. You don't even uh, work on it at all. I bet it's a storage bench. Okay. It's a storage bench. It's a storage bench. Fair. Fair. Song name. I don't even know. Workbench because Prime doing work, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's do this. All right. Uh, read file name, lines equals ref. Ooh, what is a ref? That must be mutable. Mutable here? Open file uh, file name, while true. Yeah, so I, oh, this must be, I must be ref in here. Bye. Bye. Yeah, okay, 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 cool. Okay. I like it. I like it. Okay, and then we do this. List reverse lines. Interesting. I don't care if it's reversed or not. It doesn't make any difference to me. Okay, this is cool. Seems kind of crazy, but whatever. We'll do this. Wait, what is this? Input lines? Oh, is that is that a thing? Is that a thing? So I can go like this. I can go uh, let uh, uh, in equals uh, open, yeah, in name, in, right? Uh, let name equals input. Yeah. All right. So I can do that. Then I can go like this lines equals, uh, input. What'd you call it? It's called input in channel, in channel, in channel dot lines, input line, lines, input line. What, what do you call it? Input lines. I don't have an input lines. Is that part of base? Is that a part of base? Is that part of base? Do I need to open base? Do I need to become base here? Do I need to become part of base? See, I don't have lines. I don't think I have lines. Do I? Oh. Input channel. Yeah, that's not it's not even a real one. This is not even a real one. See, uh, that's why, uh, do you have a, yeah, I do have an LSP. Mine doesn't work. Mine's not too bad. I just want to become based. You know what I mean? It's a, a base. See, I don't have it in base. Pass the IC. I know I have to pass the IC, uh, but it, it it's still, this is, this is, this doesn't exist yet. Uh, base dot in channel. I mean, there, there it is, right? It has, it has that thing. I'm confused at how to use it. I don't know how to use it. I honestly don't know how to use it. Keep watching from the shower. You can use a... Really input string channel, channel length. Split on char. Ah. Ah. Okay. 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 I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. Let file name. All right. So then we got we to gotta, we gotta open the channel. Uh, open in bin file name. I don't know what open in bin. Input all, then split on strings. Yeah, 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 so what is bin, by the way? I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Like, I, I don't know what that is. Uh, in channel, uh, is there like a read all? Uh, 
What is really input string? What the hell does that even mean? What what the hell kind of name is that? Int? Really? Is that is that a real thing? Is that is that a real thing? Is that Uh, how do I cast? I don't even know how to cast. For real, for real. Yeah, dude, I know. What that? What does that even mean? In channel with open bin. In, file in channel input all. Damn. See, this is where this is where I like. I have no idea about OCaml. This is where my OCaml really is weak. Because I'm just like, dude, I don't even, I don't even know any of this, uh, any of this crap, right? Uh, I think you forgot an in in there. Okay. Split on chars? Split on chars? Let's see. Unbounded uh, split on chars. Char list? Oh, really? There's not split? That'd be on uh, new lines, right? I don't understand this either. Oh, is, oh, oh, is this a, oh. Are these supposed to be functions? I can't tell what these things are supposed to be. I can't tell what those are supposed to be. I'm very bad at this. I'm under no delusion, okay. All right, so that's a function. Okay, hold on. I'm way out. I'm way out of here. Okay, I just got dude. Why is this so hard? Why is this so effing hard? Read file OCaml. Okay. Just give me the just give me give it to me. Okay, I know about these in channels. Okay, I, okay, just 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 line by line me. Input line. Okay, so this is the way I have to do this. Effectively, I have to recreate a list over and over again, right? I think that's what I got to do. So I could probably just do this recursively, right? Okay, forget all this crap. Guys, I don't even want to hear your crap, okay? I don't want to hear your crap, okay? I wish read all was a real thing. Let's go like this. Let read all. Rec, uh, let's see. Let's go like this. In uh, in channel lines uh, equals this. And instead of doing that, let's just go a match. Uh, what is it? It's in uh, channel dot input line. I see with yes, that's the that's the way I want to do this. Yep, that's the way I want to do this. And then the last one is uh, exception, end of file. There you go. That's the one I wanted. There we go. F you guys, F all of you. I've never liked any of you. Okay, I, I mean, I like you guys. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, okay, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I got, I got a little angry there. And then I don't need the split. Let contents equals read all contents. There we go. And now we can go like this. Uh, let max length equals get max length. There we go. We're looking good. 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 Get it, get the hell out of here, base. I don't even know who you are. Who are you? We're looking good, right? That looks uh, clean tail recursive. Uh, we're, tr we're definitely trying the best we can here. Okay, I'm not great at this. Now we're cooking. I know. I, I just got a. I I just, I figured there's some utility that I'm missing. That's like, read the effing file. Give me the file. And that's it. I'm sure there's a way. I just don't know what I'm doing, okay? I have a policy of not answering these type of questions. Gosh, I love that. That is just such a funny thing. Uh, just, just Google this. Oh, Pravon. What kind of crazy image did you show me? Input channel fold lines. Oh, wow. I don't even know what that is. We're folding? Huh? We're folding, boys. I'm not ready for that yet. I don't, e I, 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 I don't even know how to make a record yet. Says the guy who doesn't have even 1% of the skills of DHH. <laughs> he, I, he makes apps I can dream of.
Think about that. All right, so we have the max length. So I'm going to normalize list with plus one. Yes. Tell me that's not a great idea. Tell me this is not a great idea. So now we have a string of list. So now we have periods at every single end, okay? And I've made sure, just in case we're not the same length, you guys are saying we are the same length, but just in case we're not, I'm gonna get the max length, I'm gonna normalize the effing list, and then we're gonna have this nice, beautiful list. Now the next thing I need to do is I need to walk through three lines at a time, okay? This is what I don't know how to do. All right, so. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let rec uh, walk lines. Okay, okay, here we go. Walk lines. We get lines. All right, we're going to walk this line. This is what we're going to do. This is what we're going to do. Okay, think. Just think for a second. Just think for a second. How am I gonna do this? Should I have a preve? Can preve be an option? Match, lines, preve, with. Can I do this? And then what I want to do is I, I, I want to be able to go like this. Okay, this is great. So we need to return something here. I don't know what the return here yet. Uh, how about some? All right. All right. Let's just return some for now. Okay. Good. Welcome All to right. Costco. I love you. We have current element. Next element. We have current, next, and tail. Right. So this is a list of stuff. This would be a single item. This is a single item. I'm starting to get kind of OCamels like right now we're at a type hole, right? It doesn't know what the, we don't know what the type is yet because I haven't defined the type yet, which is super cool. So we're like, we're kind of getting this. Thank you. Does some, I appreciate that tier one. Okay. I appreciate that. Let's go. All right. So this is good. And what I want. Shoot. <sighs> Dang it. Why is this so hard to specify? Dude, my functional brain sucks. Dude, I'm doing this so verbosely. Okay, whatever. Can I just go like this? Can I do some? Welcome to Costco. I love you. Is there, like, how, how do you specify some... Right? Okay, good. Okay, so now preve should be an option A. Yes, I got it. It's a list of A. Let's go. Wait, hold on. Did that just say a list of list? Does this thing think I'm a two-dimensional list? Shoot. Shoot, I think that's because I have this. Okay. Good. Okay, so we have a we have a we have a type hold list. We have a type hold option and we have a type hold. Okay, good. So 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 I'm I'm feeling it, right? Cause I'm so bad at this, right? I'm just doing this. All right, all right. And then lastly, we should only have that. Right? That's really the three possible cases here, right? And I'm going to put that as previous, right? Those are the three possible, ca the, the, the uh, four possible cases. Is there anything else? Is there any, am I missing? Is not exhaustive? Uh, here, I'll go like this. All right. Does that look fair? I'm not good at this. Again, we're not good at this, but this is, this is going places. We're going places now. Okay, we're going places. So that means I should be able to go like this. Print. Uh, end line with, um, with, 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 with string to, uh, string of int contents, none, zero. All right. So by doing that, we now have defined this. Oh, we haven't defined this thing yet. Okay. Interesting. I thought that would define it because I'm using it down here. It's expecting an int 
So it should be expecting... Okay, whatever. Whatever. I'm not that good yet. Okay, people, can you just see that I'm not that good here? Uh, quick question. What skill do I need to have to solve this issue? Uh, I don't think you need that much skills. This is a very simple one. This is honestly a very, very simple problem. This is not a hard problem. Let uh, contains symbol uh, previous current next. Okay. Let is symbol, let's see, is dot let is number, come on, yes, yes, I love that, I love that, I love it, I love it, I love it. All right, so there we go. So is symbol would simply be uh, not is dot and not is number. That returns bool, that returns bool, that returns bool. Wait, isn't this obvious how I'm using it then? Or is it just because of that? Is it because I don't wrap these things? No. Why doesn't it, why doesn't it go, how does it not know that I'm now using a char? How does it know that I'm not using a char? Another quick question. What are you coding? Uh, Advent of code. Ad it's literally, it's like literally in the title. Advent of code. Day three. O camel. You know what I mean? Or write a function uh, to function your function. Then you really are a functional program. Dude, I am terrible. Okay, so I don't understand why this thing, why C isn't, okay, C is a c car. I don't get it. I don't get it. Oh, is it a single one? Uh, booling and in O camel. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to do this. Booling. Uh, do I not know how to do booling? Isn't is dot wrong? No. Is dot's right. Is dot is correct. Is there not a is there not an and? Can I just find an and? Does and not exist? Where the hell is and? What what is it? Am I stupid? Learning Rust with AOC is good seeing you struggle. Yeah. It's it's hard. I struggled with I struggled with uh Rust 2 years ago. Maybe it's literally and. Yeah, uh, and is and. Okay, so then Okay, yeah, cuz I do it right there. What am I saying? Okay, hold on. I'm just going to quit for a second and just pretend like that didn't happen. Okay. Hold on. All right, what is this? Bool. Awesome. Awesome. I bet you not. It's not. Uh not not uh, let's see uh, a booling not o camel i bet you it's yeah it's d ref yeah 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 what the hell is a bool what is the bool not f i hate my life do 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 all right All right, so I'm going to do a symbol here. We're going to do a symbol, and I'm going to go like this. Hold on. Uh, we uh, contain symbol. I'm going to go like this. Let rec ox. Uh, how do we do this with a string? Can you match on a string? Can I match? Can I match two characters on a string? Can I do like the the thing and then and then the rest of the string? Is that a? Is, can you do a binary match? Uh, match string. Uh, O camel. 
Like, is it what? How, how do you do that? Yeah. See, I want I want something like this. You know, like I want like an E. Can I get the first character? Can I get a car? Sure, it's okay. Well, you can do whatever you want. I don't believe you. See, this is this ain't feeling it. This ain't it. Okay. Um. See, it didn't feel like it. It. Uh, you uh, you'd regex for a partial map. Turn uh, turn to car list and then do an X Y and uh, rest. Ugh. I don't want to do a car list because I really don't know how to work. I don't know how to work with lists in this this kind of fashion. Okay, people, I can't do it. I can't do it. We. Um, okay, I'm gonna do so. I'm gonna we're we're gonna we're gonna think about this. We're gonna think about this. We're we're gonna think about this. So I'm gonna go like this. Uh, find next int, right? And that is gonna be um, start length, okay? This is important, okay? Uh, st string start length, okay? And so we're gonna go like this. Let rec aux, and we're gonna need to do uh, stir uh, sl, right? Equals this. Welcome to Costco, I love you. If, oh, thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate that, Vito. I appreciate that. I'm just, I'm getting there, okay? We're getting there, okay? Uh, you're talking about, uh, he can't pay me. I'm the streamer, by the way. He is a streamer. I've seen it. Thank you, Vito. I appreciate that. All right. If string length stir, ooh, we need like an index. All right. Oh, my goodness. This is looking bad. This is looking bad. If we're equaling, if we equal IDX, oh, man, there's so many more things I need in here. Oh my goodness, this is so stressful. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out. I'm stressed out in number. Okay, I'm stressed. Oh my goodness. Uh... All right. Then uh, we're going to go like this. Uh, if in number, then we're going to go index. We don't need index. We're going to go like that. Else, none, none. I think this is right. Okay, so if we have that. Okay, hold on, hold on. Uh, if. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Hey, thank you. I appreciate that. If we're in number, we're going to go in here. If we're still parsing out a number, I appreciate that. Let's go. Let's go. Hey, Randomer, I appreciate the 19 months Twitch Prime. Um. Dude, just, just just let me do single letter variables right now, okay? I'm doing single letter variables right now because I don't know what I'm doing and I feel a little overwhelmed, okay? I feel overwhelmed. This is just what it looks like, okay? Welcome to Costco. I saw it in JavaScript in, in, in 12 minutes and 13 minutes and 45 seconds, okay? Morning. Primagans, Mr. Burgundy voice filter is now active. Thank you. This is, I appreciate the 500 biddies, 505 biddies. Okay, I don't know what I'm doing. So just let me, just let me be, let me feel terrified, okay? Okay, I need this. I need this in my life, and I need you to let me have it. Okay, so if we is not, if we is number, if we is number, then we do this. Oh, I do need to return out the, I do need to return out the index. Shh, sh marmalade. All right, so. We return out the index. So if we is number, we're going to re-aux this bad boy out with the string, index that, and then we, in yes, 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 yes. Else, if in number, then I guess we can just do an, yeah, I, li I like to do it this way because it, it just makes me feel happier doing it this way. And I'll go like this. That's where our next start point should be is right here. All right, awesome. We have some, we have some, uh, and then we got to go like this, else, no, N yes, I think we're there, which one has the type hole, this is a string, this is an int, this is a type hole, and this is a fudge, 
Well, darn. All right. It equals some int of string uh, uh, IDX. Damn it. Okay, so this is bad because that means I'd reassign it every single time. I'd reassign it every single time, which means I need to go like this. Is there like a is there like an is none? This looks easy, dude. I'm so bad at this. Okay, just let me be bad. Let me be bad. Idiomatic code is overrated. I didn't solve it yet. I uh, had church this morning and decorated uh, decorating the house right now. We'll solve tonight. Uh, no, uh, no, I wouldn't spoil uh, seeing Prime struggle with O Campbell though, dude. I'm struggling. Okay, you're not bad. I'm terrible. I'm not even gonna. I'm not gonna read your your hypothetical. Is there like an is option? Can I can I pattern match in an if statement? Pattern match in if statement O camel. Is there like a or do I have to do like a a match? Is there like a lift operator? I need like a, a lift operator. Um, uh, just join the stream. So could you kindly do a recap, please? No, we are in the middle of, we're in the middle of this and we are, we're deep in it. Um, match. We need to match this thing. I need to match Welcome S to with none. If it's none, well, good. If it's none, so I can't, I can't, Matt, I can't, this is, this ain't the time. Okay. We are in the middle of trying to do this. If it's none, then I want Oh crap! Yeah. Oh, I see. I see the problem here. If it's none, because I can't assign anything, because this is gosh, this is shit. <laughs> this is O camel. I don't know. I don't know how to mutate a variable. Okay. I don't know how to mutate a variable. It's very difficult. Okay. I know you think it's funny. It's not funny. Who did that, Panda Coder? Thank you, Panda Coder. I appreciate that, okay? And Eigen Solitude, thank you for the brand new tier one. And thank you, Panda Coder, for the 20 gifted subs. I don't know how to assign. Welcome to Costco. I, I don't know. You. I don't even know what I'm doing out here. Shred. Appreciate that. Option is none. Okay, nice. Nice. Well, we're not going to do that. We're going to do this. This actually feels good. All right, so now I should have type hold everything, I think. This should be an int option. Yes, yes. Oh gosh, I got you, I got you guys. I got you by the, got you. You know I got you, you know I got you. Okay, you know I got you. You know you've been had. Okay, it's been had. We've been had. Okay, hold on, so string. Yes. Okay, so we, we're, we're having a bit of a problem here. We're having a bit of a problem right now. Int, int option, or int option option. Wait, what? What the, how the hell did I get an option option? Oh, I see how I got an option option. I see how I did it. I did it first try. I did that first try. Option, option. All right, we're down. Welcome we're almost out of this. We're almost out of the woods, okay? We're almost out of the woods. We're almost out of the woods. We're almost out of the woods. We are almost out of the woods right now, Bonas. Bonas. All right, so do you guys see what I'm trying to do here? This is what I'm trying to do here, is I'm trying to walk a string and find an occurrence of a number and then find the length of that number. So when I find an occurrence, I want to find its start and its length. And by finding its start and its length, I can then take the previous string, right? Take the previous one, substring it out, and say, do you have a symbol? I can take my current string, add one to each side, pretty much, and say, do you have a, do you have a number? Go to the bottom. Do you have a number? 
You know what I mean? And then I'm going to do one more thing. Normalized list. I'm going to do something that's very nasty, okay? We're talking about very, very nasty, okay? I'm going to do this, and I don't want you guys to tell anybody that I did this, okay? Okay? I don't want you to tell anybody what I'm doing here, all right? If they found out what I'm doing, I'd be, I would be in trouble, okay? I would be in genuine trouble. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go like this. I'm going to add a period to the front and to the back. That way I don't even run into that condition, right? That condition doesn't even exist. It doesn't even, it doesn't even exist. Oh, girl, you nasty. You know what? That's a good call. I should listen to nasty girl. Good call. Good call on that one. Let's find nasty girl. Let's find nasty girl right now because that is such a banger. Yeah. Welcome to Costco. I love you. It's a good one. Hey, thank you very much, Rotating Phaser. You, uh, you, you sneaky inspired by day one. I'm inspired by day one. Okay, so I think this makes sense. So what I'm doing is I'm normalizing a list. I'm adding periods on both sides of it. Then I'm going to scan for numbers. Every time I hit a number, I need to pass in the previous list and the next list. And I'm going to see, do you have a symbol? If any chunk has a symbol, then we just add that number to the sum. Okay? So I think... This will work. And then I just find next int until it comes out with a none. Once it comes out with a none, then we got ourselves, well, we got ourselves some. You know what I'm talking about? Okay, so that's my idea. Now, whether or not this is a good idea, I don't know. But what matters is that we're going to keep on doing what we got to do. Okay, so what I should do is, okay, so how do I get three, so this is the, this is the part that I, I'm struggling with, Hype train for normalizing right? lists and chunking symbols and getting nuns. Hype train for normalizing lists and chunking symbols and getting nuns, dude, we're trying. I don't know what I'm doing, okay? Okay, but a symbol can appear on top or below or in the middle of a number. Did you account for this? Yes, that's all accounted for that. I find a number, and then I'm going to surround it. So don't worry about that. That, that That's easy. You, you, you're focused on the wrong thing right now. Okay, that's the easy-peasy part of all of this. All right. So we're going to do we're going to we're going to go imperative here. We're going imperative. Uh, boys strap in. It's imperative time. We're going to go like this. Welcome to Costco. How would we do this? Is you. there a break statement? How would we do this? How do we do imperativeness? Imper imperativeness. I just turned into Mike Tyson. Effectively, I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to do this. I don't need to be imperative, do I? I don't think I need to be imperative. I don't think I need to do that. I go like this. Uh, this is disgusting again. Uh, get num list equals stir. She's darn it. I'm starting to create type problems here, but whatever, right? Um, I'm starting to create I'm starting to create type problems. I'm starting to create type problems here people. Okay, I like what here. Let's see what we got here. I'm I'm I feel like I'm having problems here. Okay. This thing takes an string int int list. No, 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 no. We don't want an int list. So, match find next string. See? This ain't it. Okay, find next we're going to pass in the string. We're going to pass in 0 and we're going to pass in list. Right? No, we're going to pass in none. None. Get the hell out of here. Okay, find next int. We're going to do that. Okay, yeah, that was right. So if we get an index and we get none, none, then guess what? We return the list. If we get some, some, oh, yeah, we're going to get some, baby. We're going to get the num list. Okay, yes, yes. And we're going to go like this. We're going to go start length. 
Yes. Yes. Uh-oh, I need index here too. I need index here. I need index here too, because I need to be able to start on that one, right? I need to put the index here. Yes, yes, there we go, there we go, there we go. Are you guys feeling that? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, 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 okay. All right, so now that we have that, we're going to do this. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate Hi, that. Maximus Cannon. No, 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 break statements. Yes, 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 yes. I don't, dude, I don't know what you're saying, but I appreciate you. All right. Let's go like this. Normalized list. We do want to do one last thing with normalized list. I feel like after it comes out, I almost want to like. Welcome to Costco. I love you. Let's take off that. You know what I mean? Let's take off that for a second. And when I normalize string, let's be explicit about this. I want to be explicit about this. Right, I want I want everyone to know I'm doing this. There we go. That feels more explicit. I'm adding one to each side. And technically, if I really wanted to, I could add another dot line above and below. And then I don't even have to think about this. I think that is the way to do this. Okay? So normalizing list, what we need to do. Okay? What we need to do. Okay. So how the hell do we add one to the front and add one to the back? So I'd have to do the following, right? I I know I'm I'm with you. I'm with you, baby. I'm with you. So I'd have to uh, I know I need to do this in here, but I don't know quite how to do it. I don't know how to formulate it, right? I know what I want to do, but I don't know how to say it. Okay? Cuz I can totally go like this. I can totally go repeat Max length plus two. There we go. We end with a list. It's looking good. Okay, we're ending with a list. But how do I add it to the front before I ever begin? I don't know. I don't, I honestly don't know. So we're not going to do this, okay? We're not going to do this. I don't know how to do that yet. I don't know how to do that. I, I, don't, I don't know how to do that. Uh, let uh, create full row. Create full row empty. Okay, max length is going to be a repeat plus two because we, we need that plus two. So I'm just going to hide that. I'm going I'm to hide that little, little thing, and I'm going to make this into a list. You know why? Because that's the kind of man I am, a string list. I don't, how do I like wrap the normalize? You know what I mean? I guess what I could do is I could do this, right? I could do uh, normalize list and then I, I could have inner normalize. Does this make sense? And then the normalizing of the list looks like this. It looks like right? Yes. 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 Does that make sense? I like this. Okay, I like this because now we've created, yes, am I doing this efficiently? Not at all. I'm not doing this efficiently, but I am doing this the greatest possible way of all time. Okay, this is the greatest way ever. Okay, so we have previous, we have current, we have next, and we have the rest. We have it. We have it. We don't need previous. Previous has never existed in our life. Okay, people, it just has not existed in our life. All right. Yes. 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 All right. And then we get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay. And we're going to get rid of that as well. And when we have this, 
everything else just returns some. Okay, so now we're looking good. Okay, we got the previous. We got the current. We got the next. We got everything else, which means that at the end of this, we go day three, part one. We got to take the current, the next, and the tail, and then we got to do the sum, and we gotta, uh, we're going to get that sum, okay? We're going to figure out whatever the w w value, okay? Yes. 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 This is so it. This is the one, people. Oh, my goodness. Can you feel it? I can feel it. Okay, 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 okay. Has number. All right, all right, all right, all right. All right. So now we're going to take current and we're going to go like this. Let a list of numbers equals. Take that. Why are you indenting on me like that? We're going to go get number list and we're going to start right here, not on the previous, but on the current. We always start on the current. The previous one is the previous line. The next one's the next one. Yes. And numlist starts with an index. Oh my goodness. Yes. Yes. So now this is a list of int int. Start and yes. Gosh. Oh, baby. It's feeling good. Okay, here we go. So now that we have that, uh, uh, let. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right, value equals, I do like a list fold. Let's fold left, boys. We're folding left. Okay, we have a funk. We have an ack. He's I, what He's the hell really are you saying it. to me, Ryan Winchester? Ockelang He's really doing hard. it. I'm ocameling. I'm feeling ocameled, okay? I'm ocameled. Just let the man cook, okay? Okay, I need something else. I need, I need, I need some other song right now that makes me feel excited. But I don't know what song I need. You know what? Oh, I know what I want. I know what I want. I want one song from this playlist, and then I want this one by Korolova. Okay, I, I want, I want this song right here. Okay, okay, okay. All right. Okay, so we got start and we got length. Let's go. I like this. So let's think about this. How do we want to do this? All right. So. So we know something. We know something every single time. We're going to substring this one, okay? We're going to go like this. If Is there a has symbol? Do I have something that has a has symbol in this bad boy? Create full empty inner list, find next int, get list number, read all. Okay, we go. How do we not have that? Let's see. Yes, if string length equals index, then it's false. If it is symbol, return true. Else we're going to do this. Yes. Yes. All right. Oh, my goodness. Wait. Can I do something better than that? Can I go like this? Wait, where's my plus sign? Wait. Where's my plus sign? Where's my plus sign? Where's my plus sign? Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at it go. Uh! You know we got something cooking here, okay? We're going to go like this. Uh, let uh, S equals S minus 1. Let uh, L equals L plus 2. We're not going to stop. Don't. Don't stop. Don't stop. Sorry, people. I'm not even reading chat. I am just, I've never been this. I've never felt like this. Is this what it feels like to be an effing functional bro for the first time in my lifetime? I think I feel it. Now, do I pipe the result into has symbol? Can I do such a thing? Oh gosh. Okay. Okay. We're, we're flying. We're flying. We're flying. We're flying. Okay. We're flying. Okay. Okay. Yes. 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 Okay. All right. All right. All right. String sub P S L pumpkin spice latte. All right. We got the pumpkin spice latte boys. 
We've hit it, Valley Girl status. Let's go. Okay, are you guys ready for the Valley Girl status? I am. I am fully ready. I'm in. I'm in. All right, hold on. I'm, am I folding? I'm not folding left. This is still not it. This is, oh my goodness, yes. Yes. Then I go list of numbers, right? Wait, does list of numbers go, what's, what's the, it's a function. It's a function that produces an A and an A and then a B list. Okay, so wait, hold on. We need a power list, right? And I have an effing power list right there. So why can't I list of numbers you? Oh, because it's the accumulator. Okay. Yes. No. Zero. Yes. 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 Okay. We're looking so good. We're looking so good. Did you see that partial application by accident and then I knew what was wrong and then we moved forward? I'm actually feeling like we're getting somewhere, okay? I feel like we're getting somewhere. Can you believe this? Oh, I just pressed a button. All right. I feel like I need something that's hot. I need something that keeps this energy level up and I don't know if I have another song that keeps this energy level up. I do. I do. I have one on. I have one. I'm not very good. As you can, I, as you can see, I'm not very good at, at O-Camel. I am terrible at O-Camel. Put my hood on. My hood is on. All right, all right, all right, all right. Wait, why aren't you... I don't get it. Why didn't the fold left get executed? Because don't I have all the things... Oh, I didn't... I had a, oh yeah, oh yeah. Okay, so we got the int right here. We're looking so good. Now all we have to do is just figure out how do we do this. So if if previous has symbol, then we need to return accumulator, add string, int of string. String sub current. St Oh no. Oh no. All right, all right. Yes, this is going to look disgusting. Are you ready for this? It's going to look disgusting, okay? I don't even know what I'm doing here, okay? This is as procedural as the boy can get, okay? This is as procedural as I can get, okay? I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm going to go like this. Let value equals bring you all the way back over here. Paste it here. Hit him with the in. Go back here. F here. Uh, no, 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 no. C-A. C-A open. Oh, yeah. Ugh. C-A open. Ugh. Dude, how disgusting is this? Tell me, this is not the grossest thing you've seen in a long time. Yes, that is so good. It is actually so good. It is actually so good. Can you believe what I've just done there? It is so good. It's impressively gross. What I've created is so bad. Okay. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh no! It's actually right! Oh. <laughs> yes! got it right people we got it right we got it right we got it right five five zero zero six four right there right there right there right there look at that five five zero zero six four 
dude, you, you got to dab on that. You got to, the LCFs are emotionally hurting me. You should. That's it. We got to dab on it just like Bill Gates. That is a Bill Gates dab right there. Bill Gates dab. Let's go. Am I good at this? No, I'm not. Do, am I under some illusion that I'm good at OCaml? No, I'm not. Did I just have the greatest time of my lifetime? I absolutely did. Oh, I thought that was part two. No, that was part one. What, what about Bill Gates jumping a chair? First try, no console log. Yeah, that was straight, just straight up programming. We just programmed for 40 minutes straight. Ended correctly. Okay, uh, okay. Only one star for you then. Only one star. Here we go. Are you ready? I don't know what they're actually saying. I just feel like I need to join in. Okay, anyways, let's go. All right. The engineer finds the missing part and installs it in the engine. As the engine springs to life, you jump in the closest gondola. Finally, ready to ascend to the water source. You don't seem to be going very fast, though. Maybe something is still wrong. Fortunately, the gondola has a phone labeled help. So you pick it up. And the engineer answers. Before you can explain the situation, she suggests that you look out the window. There stands the engineer, holding a phone in one hand and waving with the other. You're going so slowly that you haven't even left the station. You exit the gondola. The missing part wasn't the only issue. One of the gears in the engine is wrong. A gear is any star symbol that is adjacent to exactly two part numbers. Got it. Easy. Easy. This is this is actually easier than part one. This is actually easier than part one. That is actually easier than part one. Shoot. <laughs> All right. It's gear ratio is the result of multiplying two numbers together. Okay. 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 Uh, the symbol is the adja uh, uh, is adjacent to exactly two part numbers. Okay, we can do this. Ooh, there's one tricky part. There is one tricky part. There is one tricky part. Dang it. There's one part that's tricky that I don't have an answer to yet. I'm going to go pee again. Uh, Got to get it out of me. I'm ready. I know. Fast pee again. Fast pee. Okay. We didn't, we didn't even wash our hands. I opened a door, peed directly outside. I ain't got no time. I got no time for life's smaller pleasures. Um, all right. Let's think about this. I can't believe anything has worked. Okay. So he hear me out on this one. We already have the ranges. Okay, we already have the ranges. So now all we have to do is reduce symbols to just stars. Okay, symbols to just stars. Yeah, yeah, should be easy. Okay. All right, can't listen to this part. Yeah, I, I don't blame you. Um, all right. All right, so if we just have symbols and we have the list of items, then all we got to do, I wish there was like a projection technique. I wish there was a projection technique. I feel like there's a projection technique. I feel like I'm missing a, a, a projection here. Do you know what I mean? Take the 2D nature out of this and turn this into a one-dimensional problem. I feel like this does exist. Do you know what I mean? So if you take every single start and stop Okay, so there, this might actually be a way to do this. No, not a quad tree. No, 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 no. Turn it into graph. No, 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 no. Turn this into a line. This is just a line. This is just, this is just a line. Have fun calculating indexes. No, I already have, I already have everything done. This is easy. You're, 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 you're thinking about this all wrong. Everybody, you're thinking about this all wrong. There should be three values that we're thinking about right now. Number one. 
We need to create a value that represents. We need to create a range that represents a point in this string. Right? Now, what we could do is we could just simply use the max length of every line. That, that totally works. We could just have a bigger number because it just it, it, it's just fine. But we take your, your row multiplied by big number plus your start. And then we do the same thing plus start plus length. And that is your range. Then we take every single position of every single star. We calculate its point position. And then we just have to do a simple search of its box. Its box would be a projection of row minus one plus row plus one, x minus one and x plus one. Do Welcome simple range Costco. searches. Yes. Yes. Turn every single number into three values, which is going to be the start projection, the end projection, and its value. And then we're going to take that. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Then we're going to find every single star, and we're going to do the exact same thing. Yes. Yes. We're doing it. We're doing a double pass. We're doing a double pass. You know what I mean? Double pass. We're just going to double pass it because we're lazy, okay? Now, could I do this in JavaScript? How fast do you think I could do this in JavaScript? I think I could do this real fast in JavaScript. I think I could do this real, real fast, okay? I think we could go crazy fast. Um, but I don't want to do it in JavaScript. I think I just want to do it in OCaml. I think I just want to do it in OCaml, but I kind of want to do a, a, a run. I kind of want to do a speed run here, okay? We kind of want to speed run. OCaml's mid? No, 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 no. OCaml is not mid. OCaml is interesting. <sighs> I'm still lost in the sauce on the exact solution I could do. I'd have to change how I do it in JavaScript because I think I just kind of cut corners in JavaScript. You know what I mean? I think I just cut corners in JavaScript. Right? And I'd have to find every single number, and then I'd have to find its range, which I don't think I have a good answer for its range. And when I find its range, ooh, ba -da -da. ooh I love that. When I find its range, no speed run. We're not going to speed run this. I'm just going to do this in OCaml. I think I just have a better set in OCaml. I think I just already have this. In, I think I just have this well done in OCaml, right? I think I just have this simply really done well in OCaml, right? So is symbol. That's it. We're no longer considering dots. We're no longer. Con All right. Welcome I should probably keep that. I love you. Uh, let is star, right? Uh, is let's see. We're gonna do the exact same thing, right? Uh, C equals dude pound sign. It's called star dog. What do you mean? Dude, did you did you see that? Hey, Jens, thank you for the 22 months. I do not like the song, but there's an incredible song on this playlist, and I do not like this song. I do not like it, but there's an incredible list on this song. Is it at 26 minutes? I feel like it's right here. I feel like it's right here. All right. Okay, so we got the star, we got some repeats, we got some things that we need to do, okay? We are going to go in here, we're going to normalize, normalize list, and we're going to get everything done with, okay? Now we need to do the exact same thing, except for now we need to do it with part two, okay? So now part two is going to do the exact same thing, which shouldn't be too hard, so let's go let rectum day two. Okay, so now that we have that, we're going to slightly change how we're doing this, because right here we have all this. Let's just yank it. Let's just yank the whole thing, okay? So we're going to get num list, okay? Now num list, what do we do here? We have find next string. Okay. 
So this is ugh, crap. See, it's hard for me to have this as two different options. You know what I mean? This sucks. Now I have to like pass a function in or just forget all about day one, part one. I've always been kind of a forget about day one, part one kind of individual. So we're going to keep it up. Okay. We're going to just keep this, this stuff up. All right. All right. Forget about it. Forget about it. We just make this. We just make this good. Okay. That's all we're doing. Yeah, forget them. Code, forget them codes, okay? Okay. My solution's faster than yours. Well, you can also suck it. So that's, that's a, when should one learn Rust? When uh, Advent of Code is literally the perfect time. Why aren't you doing it during Advent of Code? Um, you know what I mean? Sorry. You can't come in here and ask me that question, okay? You can't, you can't come in here. You can't come in here asking me this question, Okay. You can't do that. You're not ready. You're not ready. You're not ready for this chat. Okay? You're not ready for this chat. This isn't, this isn't for you. I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Kenson, appreciate that, okay? I appreciate that. Not ready. Not ready. Okay. So let's do the exact same thing. Let's get a list of numbers, except for in this time, the find next string is very, very simple. If we are a number, we're finding the number. If we're not a number, how do we do the is symbol? Do we have is dot somewhere? We Do we have is dot being used? Is symbol is currently that. Do we have is symbol? Is symbol being used? Oh. All right, so we're going to find every single number, and then after we find every single number, we're going to go through and we're going to see, does it have any? Yes. So we're going to take these numbers, and we got to create a projection list, okay? We're going to create an effing projection list. Are you guys ready for this? Are you guys ready for this projection list? In fact, Welcome you know what I'm going to do? I'm actually going to undo this. We're going to undo this, and we're going to undo this, and you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back down here, and we're going to keep this right here. You know why? Because we are good people. We're going to make this We're going to make this thing work, okay? We're going to go like this. Let rec projection list. Okay. Let's do this. All right. So it's going to look something very, very similar to this. Okay. We need to just, I want to be able to get all my numbers and I just want to simply create that list. Okay. I'm going to grab every number. We're just going to do the exact same thing. We're going to grab every single number that has a symbol, except for has symbol is this, this little hot dog right here, which we're not going to do, okay? Uh, we're going to go like this. I know. Terrible code. I get it. I get it. I get it. Terrible code. We're running, okay? Are we coding or are we dancing? I don't know. All right, so we're going to just drop this bad boy down. Uh-oh. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. We're going to do that. So these are all the ones that have a star next to it. These are all the ones that are going to have the star next to it, which I'm actually going to need, right, Actually, I don't even need to do that. I'm just going to take these list of numbers, and I'm just simply going to project them. And that is that. We don't even need to think about it, right? We don't even need to think about this at all. You know what I mean? We're just going to take this. We're going to take that. We're going to grab the value. We're going to project the crap out of this thing, which we do need the index. Lists of numbers. What index are we on? We don't quite have the index, do we? We do not have the index. That should be okay. We're going to go index. Yeah, I think this is going to work. I think this is going to work. We're going to take our current lines. Current starts off at zero. I guess I guess we could say current starts off at one. It doesn't really matter. Why are you using so much code for day three? Is it on purpose? I don't know. I don't know how to type program OCaml. Dog. I'm not good at OCaml. And I don't pretend to be good at OCaml. I've accepted my Arabian O camel -ness. All right. So we have this. We're going to get the list of numbers starting at C. Perfect. We're going to come back out. We're going to fold left on that list. We're going to take all this. We're going to find uh, the, 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 the value. Um, all 
We're going to get the value. Hold on. We're going to get the value. What do we want to do here? Hold on. Hold on. Here. Okay. We get the value. And then what do we need to do? We need to... But we don't want to just do that. That's the value. We want to be able to take the start. And we're going to go up here. And we're going to go like this. Let uh, row... Or oh, sorry. Row projection equals a uh, big-ass number. Okay? Okay? This makes sense. So we're going to go like this. Uh, IDX times row projection plus start. IDX. Oh, here. We'll go like this. All right. This makes sense. We're going to go projection plus S. Projection plus uh, S plus L. Value. That's our accumulator. Yeah? You guys see what we're doing here? I can't do today at all. Way too far out of what I know. It's very, very simple if you just calm down and just think about going into things. So all we're doing is just creating a bunch of these value ranges, okay? Very, very simple. That is it. Nothing crazy going on here. We should have, yep, look, that we have a, we have a list of tuple of three ends. Start projection, end projection, that thing, okay? This is looking good. So now we've we've taken our hard problem and kind of flatten it out a little bit so it's just like pretty straightforward i think we've included the row and everything i think this makes it easier i may be just over complicating it i just don't have to think about rows and stuff anymore now now i can do this i think this will be fine projection list okay so we need the projection list to equal this. We need to go lines, 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 lines. IDX, dicks. Ooh, dude, IDX. I should rename that dicks. Oh, yeah. That, my friends. That is the way to do it. Uh, outlines equals this. Then we're going to go like this. List of numbers. How do I, how do I concat two lists together? Is it just the at sign? Is that all it is? I guess we're going to just do this for now. Why do I have N? What am I referencing with N? That's fine. That's fine. Right now, you know, it is what it is. It is what it is. We've already created the row to look like this, okay? Uh, I was just thinking of all the numbers uh, in the string and surround them with chars and filter and add. Sort of. All right, so I created this nice little list. So now all I have to do is find every asterisk. This is going to be a very bad algorithm, okay? It's going to be the number of asterisks <laughs> multiplied by the number of items in the list. Not a great runtime. This is not a good runtime, but I'm okay with it. You know what I mean? Sometimes, sometimes you got to be good. Sometimes it's okay to be a piece of whatever I'm doing. All right. We're going to go like this. Projections, lines, index, sum. It's about getting the solution, and you can refactor in peace. No, 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 no. It's about getting a solution and moving the hell on and never thinking about it again. All right, so how do we do this? In the schematic, there are two gears. Uh, the first is in the top left, and it has a part of 450 this and this too. So its gear ratio is this. How, what is that? Is that just the multiplication? The gear ratio is anything. Uh, let's see, the adjacent two exactly number parts. Its gear ratio is the result of multiplying those two numbers together. Okay, okay. The second gear in the lower right is that. Adjacent is not a gear. Okay, let's go on. Because it only has one adjacent part. Okay, adding it all up the gear ratios produces this. Okay, okay. 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 We're looking good. Let rectum count count uh, intersections. Did I spell that right? Intersections. Did I spell that right? I don't even know. Projections? I don't think I got that right. That's fine.
Okay, I like this. I'm really just creating a fold left, right? I'm just really going like projections. I guess I could, uh, I mean, what, what, what do we got here? What are these ticks? What are these ticks? What did I just write? I don't even know how this is used. Oh my goodness, this is so confusing. What have I created? What kind of monster have I created? Okay, this is not, this is not, this is not the one I want. We got a, we got a projections list. We got an A, we got a B that are types, and then an int, Welcome and it returns an int. I love you. Thank you, Suplin. I appreciate that. Okay, I think this makes sense. That should be an int. Why is it not an int? Why are you not an int? These are ints. These are ABCs. No, 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 no. They're not ABCs. They should be ints. They should be ints. I don't understand what I'm doing here. I don't I don't understand it. I, I don't get it. All right. I just want to count how many of these things exist. I don't know what ticks are. So I'm just going to get rid of you because it just makes you... Oh, ticks are just valid parts of names? All right. If S is less than or equal to... Let's get rid of this line because this line sucks. There's the two conditions. There's if... We have this one. We have this one. If S is less than or equal... Let's see... If S is less than or equal to the end, and uh, the oh, the end is greater than or equal to E, then we got an, uh, we got something, right? Exact same logic, except for on the other side. I bet you there's another way I could even project this into another value, but I'm not sure how. I'm not sure how to do. I'm not sure how to do this better. I'm struggling with how to do this better, because it's 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 like a range. You know what I mean? I don't know how to do this better. All right, so the other side, okay, so that's this side, right? Start is before the end, and the end is after. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. The end is greater than or equal to the end. Yes, there we go. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right, so this means we got this side. So now this side means that if the start is less than the start, if the start is less than or equal to the start, and the end is greater than or equal to the start prime, then we got it else we do this yes we're counting projections okay what the hell is these things this thing is okay why are you not showing up as a number i guess it doesn't need to be does it not need to be a number it doesn't not need to be a number is this the third advent of code challenge this is hey thank you squib squibby all right i'm feeling confident here okay we're feeling confident we're feeling confident I'm feeling confident. We're feel we're feeling it. You know what I mean? Do I want the projections passed in? I think I do. I think I do. Hey, Welcome thank you, Timbo. Appreciate that. Hmm. I don't want to count intersections. I want to get intersections. I want to get intersections. You know what I mean? I want to get intersections because what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to take this son of a bee and I want to throw in one of those, okay? And we don't even need that. What am I saying? We don't even need that. And we want to be able to take this bad boy and we want to be able to take it and go like this. Uh... Did I get that right? Yes, did I get that right? There we go. There we go. Yeah. 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 We got this. Why should I write OCaml? I have no idea. I barely have any coding knowledge, but I love this dude. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. So I'm going to start off. Filter map just does a map and a filter, right? That's all it is. I assume you just do I assume it returns options. All right, so part 2, how are we going to get the projections? Let's go like this. Let pro oh my goodness. Uh projections equals projection list of contents zero that. There we go. And so I'm going to go projections this and then we need projections, line, index and sum. Okay. Projections, line, index and sum. 
Uh, what's your problem? What's your problem? That looks good. That's the one I've always wanted. Why is this a problem? Okay, it thinks it's strings. That's fine. It thinks it's a string. That's fine. We're not worried about it thinking it's a string. I don't even think we need this anymore. I don't even think we need this anymore. I don't think we need all this crazy nut stuff anymore. I don't think we need anything anymore. I think we can just go like this. Head to tail. I think we can just completely... Oh, do we need that? No, we don't. No, we don't. Because we already have the projections. Right? Projection list is going to go through, take the lines. It's going to get the numbers. Yes. Okay. So I think we got everything. I think we got everything we need. So we're just going to have the projections. We're going to have the lines. We're, we don't need this. In fact, I'm just going to get rid of all of this because it's too confusing to look at. Don't even look at it. Don't even look at it. It's disgusting. Okay? Don't even look at it. So all I need to do is take the lines. Get gear ratio. And this is going to take in a projections. And this is going to take in a line, which is a string and an index. Okay. Okay. Yes. Yes. Let. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold, can you just hold on? So we need a lot. We need an aux. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to walk the line, find a star, get its projection up and down, pass it in, get projection count, take those counts. If it equals two, multiply the two values together and return it. Else, return zero. Does that make sense? I feel like I could, yes, key on the star. Yes, key on the star. Yeah, 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 I know. All right, so that means what we need here is we need our line. We need our projections. We need our line. We need our current index. And we need our, uh, and our uh, intersections, right? Does that make sense? Yes, I think that's right. Dude, I'm... Do we need all this? Like, should this just be a function? This is getting intersections over a projection. This would be getting all... The... See, dude, I'm programming this so stupid. I can just feel that I'm just... I'm just so dumb. All right. If uh, is a star, uh, line index... Okay, copilot, get the hell out of here. All right. Projections will be a minus one. Where where do I use this value? I use this value right here. Uh, let uh, row projection. I'm going to actually turn this up. Uh, I'm going to turn this into a function, right? We're going to turn this into a function because it's just too crazy to have this everywhere. Times uh, that plus index, Okay. It makes sense to go like this, right? There we go. Wait. Ah, but then I don't... I, uh, shoot. Shoot! Maybe we don't want that? Fine, whatever. F, F off. F off. This is bad. This is bad. I've made this entirely too complicated. I've made it entirely too complicated, but we just need to live. I need to live with the choices I've made, okay? I'm living with the choices I've made, all right? I'm living with the choices I've made. Uh, start equals um, row projection. I, I'm living, I'm, I'm living with the, I'm living with the choices I've made, okay? All 
All right, these are the choices I've made. I don't suggest this. I do not suggest my route. Okay, so we have the start. So we got the, the, uh, we got those two. So now we're going to get the intersections, which the intersections take in what? A projection and start end. Okay, we take in our projections. We take in our start and end. All right. And so now we're going to go like this. Our intersections. Yes. And then we just simply keep going. I realized I did something wrong. If string length equals this, we just return intersections. Else if star. And then we do this. Yes. Yes, this looks better. This looks better. We're going to get the intersections, and then we have to go like this. Aux, projections, line, intersections. Else we do this one. All right. All right. All right. Man, this feels so hard in my brain. I wonder how fast I could do this in JavaScript. Does Tech Deck count on a fast machine with lots of memory? Yes, of course it does. I just finished boot camp, C Sharp and Angular. What do you suggest I keep learning to get good at a job? Anything that you're super, super interested in. Honestly. All right, so we're going to get all of our intersections. If our... Man, I'm so, so good at this. List length equals 2. Then else zero zero okay make sure okay i got everything so now i just do this if we have two intersections i literally have to grab the first and second one right match intersections with um x y X times Y, else zero. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Oh, I got to go like this. Yes. Yes. There we go. Yes. The solution is uh, so mid. Needs more to HMX. I do. I need so much HTMX. Prime's favorite is React. I, I my favorite is React. I love Leptos, but I I love Leptos, but I I'm just so 50 50 on Rust. Like I love Rust, but I feel like if I'm just building a product and I just want to get to a finished state fast, I just use Go. You know what I mean? kind of where i'm at in my life goes mid goes super mid goes like the most mid ass language of all time i like rust i i go back and forth on which one i should do that's why when i look at this um like that's why i literally i have this that's why i have this post right here which one should i build it in because i don't really know which one to do it's like youtube likes youtube likes go and rust and where's Twatter? Twatter, on the other hand, welcome to Costco. Likes Rust you. more than Go, but slightly less emphatically than YouTube. I mean, dog, you—the answer is literally in your question. First off, don't ask, you should not ask these kind of questions. Take charge of your life. You want to learn something? Learn the damn thing. Okay, don't wait for somebody else to tell you how to do something. You want to learn more about a language? You know, you, you know exactly what you need to do. You need to use the language to build. You're never going to get good at a language unless you use it. You know? It's just, it's just, it's just facts of life. And so if you wait for me to tell you some magic thing, there's no magic thing. There's never been magic. There's, there is no magic learn. The only way to learn is to blood and sweat and tears your way through a language. If you don't have a solid understanding of data structures, I think it makes it harder because then it's harder to participate in these type of questions, which is a great way to become better at a language. Like my ability at OCaml has greatly increased. I'm not saying it's good. It's just it's, it's much better than it was. You know what I mean? I can do, I am like a script kitty Andy now. 
That's cool. I'm a script kitty, O Camel Andy, and I'm happy about that. When you're done practicing, try practicing some more. And then when you're finally done with that, try practicing some more. You know what I mean? And then finally, after all of that, and it's been so long, and you've been doing it so long, then you should practice some more. Then you finally hit the right level. React to viewer solution? Uh, maybe. Probably not today. Hi, YouTube Shorts. Maybe it is a short. Maybe it isn't short. I don't know. As far as I see, there's there's no possible way to get good at a programming language, right? Like, I hear this question constantly. I have just got done learning a framework. I've just got done learning something about programming. I'm new to programming. Help. How do I get better? There seriously is one answer, which is work your ass off using the language and discovering and understanding it at a deeper and deeper level. Maybe you need to buy a book on it. Maybe you need to just build projects on it. Maybe you need to stretch yourself and build stuff you don't quite understand. Advent of code is a great way to do it. But at the end of the day, it's about the hours in, hours out. And some people are like, oh, well, you got to be able to maximize your hours in and hours out. Well, the problem with that statement in like the entirety is the fact that you have to know what is good for you ahead of time. Do you know what's good for you ahead of time? No, you don't. You're not going to. Just build what you want to build in a language you want to learn, and you will get better every single time. Sorry, you got me all hot and bothered there for a second. You got me really high. Uh, people want magic pills. There's no magic pills. I know. When did you start coding? A touch in high school. Some when I was in uh, uh, elementary school. Uh, but I, I really, really started the program program when I was like 22. Like, I was, I was familiar. All right. Anyways. Dude, I have absolutely no effing clue what I'm doing right now. This is, is, is the craziest. This is like the craziest thing I've ever done. Right? There's no way I just got that correct. There's, it, 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 there just ain't no way. There ain't no way that I just got that correct. In fact, I don't even need has star. doesn't even need to exist. Has symbol needs to exist. There's just, there ain't no way. There ain't no way this works out. There ain't no way this is going to work out. There just ain't no way this is going to work. It's so effing convoluted, right? Like, there's just no way. There's no way I'm going to take this answer and just put it in here and just have it work first try. See, it's not, it's not right. I didn't even test it. I didn't even test it. I didn't even test it. Okay, so now let's test it with the actual input. Okay. Okay. I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. Oh, yes. Here's a short story for everyone. Yeah, it didn't work. All right, let's go like this. First thing I want to do is I actually want to be able to print. Uh, let's print this. Uh, 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 let's go like this. Let uh, print uh, projections. I'm not sure how to print this thing. Okay. Let's see what I get here. Let's go like this. Print projections. Let's see what I got here. All right. So we got like this. We got. Okay. This all makes sense. So we got two through five. Oh, is it backwards? Oh, interesting. I'm slightly off. That's an ad. I'm off by one. Does that matter? I guess it doesn't matter. Does it matter? I don't think it matters, but interesting. I'm a little curious how I did that. 
How did I get off by one and still get select correct solutions? Curious? Yes. Does it matter? Probably not. All right. Where's the two ones that matter? 467. So the last one. So this one, 467, should have... You know what I'm going to do? Let's do something a little bit easier, too. You know what I should do? We have a projection list, right? Let rec uh, star list, right? Why not? Should be easy, right? I'll, I'll do what I did down here. Let's, let's move this in because I feel like maybe I got a little, I got a little too intense here. I kind of feel like I need to take this thing right here and count... Because then I'm just doing number number collision. I can verify it with my eyeballs. Does that make sense? What is the time complexity of this? The time complexity of this is going to be uh, count of star. It scales with the count of stars multiplied by the uh, count of numbers. Oh, I add a dot everywhere. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Good call. Good call. So it's not good. That's what th Those are its two scaling factors. Don't forget that I did this in JavaScript in like 12 minutes. <laughs> this is, it's somehow harder in this. Okay. Somehow I'm, I'm terrible at this. All right. So we're going to take this thing and we need to do all the star lists. And so we need to take this list and we need to count the amount of stars in it. Let's just make sure I get that correct first, okay? Can we make sure I get that one correct first? All right, so there we go. So we're just going to do this very, very simple one right here. Positions. If it is star line right here, we're going to add the index. Yep, okay. Else we're going to do this. Yes, perfect. Okay, that's exactly what I wanted. We're going to go like this. Star list. Okay, now I feel like we're doing this a little bit more what I would consider O-Camely. I feel like that feels cooler. Did I do that cooler? Did I just do this better? I can't tell. Wait, what? Por qué, Maria? Yeah, look at that. See, see, do you see that? I, I'm able to like, I know how to can catalyst. In general, do you prefer to use iterators over loops and Rust? Yeah, iterators are great. Converting in between iterators, using all that stuff is very, very great. It's very, very, very good. Okay, so this is apparently my, okay. Okay, good. Okay, good. This is good. This is good. This is exactly what we wanted, right? So... I'm not going to just add the index here because this is like a fool's errand to add the index, right? Get star positions. We're going to walk through this. I also need one more thing, line index, right? And the reason why we want to do that is that I want to be able to go like this. Go line index times uh, row projection plus this. Does that make sense? Let's, let's project these sons of bees. You know what I mean? And then we're going to take this thing and we're going to go star positions and we need the. Uh... Why are you lying to me? Why are you lying to me?
All right, there we go. Okay, look at this, 9,004. So it, it, it touches this bad boy, right? Because this is where it starts. This is where it ends exclusively. This is where it touches it exclusively. Ooh, but I don't have anything else. I don't, do, really? Is that one? Oh. So it should be, hold on, 467. 467. I wonder why it goes straight to twos and not ones. Why is this not a one? Why are you not a one? Why are you not a one? What's wrong with that? Why is that thing not a one? Right? Am I am I right on that? Why is that not a one? All right, let's look at projections. Why is that not a one? All right, so we get the number list. So we have our list of numbers. We're going to fold left on this one uh, because of the line start, uh, start and end you added. I know, but but it's still, then... then no, no, no. That that would be why it st should start at one, right? Because it shouldn't start at zero. The fact that it's backwards is bothering me. Why is that backwards again? I should probably. I could flip it upside down. We could, we could flip this upside down. Should we just flip that upside down? Okay. That's less bothersome. Can we agree? Can we agree? Flip it and ship it. Okay, it's less bothersome. It's kind of what I want to see. And, okay, so there's this thing, and there's this thing. See, we are off by one on this projection list. We are off by one by accident. And why are we off by one by accident? What have we done by accident here? Because contents... Projection list contents zero. Okay, I'm going to rename this thing to list index. See, the first list should have literally nothing in it because it should be all dots, right? So if I go like this, print, uh, print end line, and I go, uh, oh, my goodness, it's because I skipped that one because I was ready for it. Shoot! No! Okay, I think this makes more sense. This makes more sense, right? Yes. This makes sense because this thing touches this and this. Do you see that? It touches that and that. Does that make sense? You got a little bit tingly? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so you can see that this thing is adjacent to this thing. Right? And you can see that this one's adjacent to it as well. <coughs> Since end is exclusive, yeah, we still need to add one. We'll still, we'll still need to add one and minus one. So now, Okay, so I actually think this makes it way easier. So I'm going to kind of delete some of this stuff because it, it's just like way too complicated, right? So I have projections and I have stars, right? I have projection and I have stars. This is easy. Projection, stars, sums. I think that's all I need to do. I don't need, uh, I don't need anything else, right? I don't need anything else. Welcome to Costco. So we're going to go with stars. 
Okay, we're gonna match stars. So this will be a string, really. Stars is a string, F you. F you, take me to the table. Thank you for that, I appreciate that, stars. And sub. Yeah, yes, we are looking so good. We are looking so good, people. We got an int list, we got an int, int, int list. Okay, this is looking good, people. We got exactly what we wanted to see. Thank you, the, the Tobian, the Dopiathan. Okay. I like, I like where we went with this one. This one is way easier. This one is way easier, and I think it's because I just I got a little bit less confused than I was. All right, so we have this thing. So now, I'll, okay, it should not be a string. This really should not be a string. I'm confused as, as to how it is a string. So I'm going to go like this. Now, this thing should be an int, int list. It's Okay, it doesn't know that it's an int list yet. get intersections this works so we can get intersections oh gosh let intersections equals get intersections projections h minus one h plus two. Oh, but we need to check the box now we need to check the box so I need to box this SOB. Now this is, see, this is the problem. This is what we're talking about. This is the problem. Are advents of code feasible at beginner's levels? The first three days I think are. I kind of have to do like three. Does that make sense? I kind of have to. Yes, it's an int list. Let's go. Okay, people. I think we're getting it. I think we're getting it. So now we're going to go like this. Plus sign. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. What is it? What is it? What does get intersections produce? Get intersections produces. It should produce us out a... Yes, it should produce us out the power list. But we technically don't need a power list. We, or whatever. I call it the power list. Okay, S -U, F you if you don't understand that. Okay, we're going to go like this. Yes. Okay, it's going to produce us out just an int list, right? Just an int effing list right now, okay? Yes. Yes. Now we're going to go like this. Match intersect. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. We can just straight up go like this. No, I, I'm not going to do that. That's too crazy. It's uh, honestly too crazy. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for, I'm not ready for that level. I am not ready for that level. I am not ready for that level. Okay, X, Y, I'm not ready for that level. Okay. I, I'm not ready, I'm not ready. I am not ready. Uh, part two, projections tail sum. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got this. Okay, we got part two. We got day three, part two, projections, tail, sum. Now, the sum needs to be the addition of X times Y. Okay, so why don't I understand this? What the hell is H? H, int, per perfect, projections, powerless. This one, powerless, wait. Oh, gosh. Here, I'm going to go like this. Uh, right equals H, H minus 1. Let's just do that. You know how much easier this is going to be? Left equals H plus 1. Does that make sense? Because this, this is getting too hairy. This is getting too hairy right now. It's too hairy. I don't know why I didn't just find and replace. I don't know why I didn't Welcome find and replace. Costco. Welcome to Costco. I love, I love you. you. I love you first. Don't even try that with me. Right. Left. Right, left. All right, come on, come on. That is so correct. Why? Why? Oh, wait a second. Wait a second. We forgot one more thing. Begin, end. There we go. There we go. Yeah, 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 yeah
yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, what is this last one? What is this last one? What is your problem? What the hell's your problem? This expression has a, uh, t uh, a type list, but an expression of type list list was expected. Oh, yeah. 16, 3, 4, 5. Did I get close? I didn't get close. 16, 3, 4, 5. Oh, my goodness. We got, we got one. We got one. But why did we not get the second one? I assume it's this one right here. 755 uh, times uh, 755 times uh, that. I assume we just missed that one. Yes. Okay. So why aren't we hitting that one? Okay. So we got one of them. We got this one right here. It's clear. We got, we captured it. We, we dunked on it. But it, why is this one not touching it? So this. It should touch this one, and it should touch this one. Right? Which one is it supposed to touch? It's supposed to touch these two, right? Is that wrong? I think I got something wrong here. I think we got something wrong here. Right? Because it should be this it should be it should be this one and this one, but not that one. End is exclusive. And I have it as inclusive. If start is less than end's end, and my end is greater than or equal to end ends, I think that's right because they're both exclusive, so that should be correct. Yes. Yes. Else, if start is less than or equal to st starts, and end is greater than start it has to be literally greater than gosh it, it it compiles so fast i can't even see it happen right am i wrong here gosh i hate inclusive versus exclusive stuff it is so hard you see in thank you very much for the raid Oh my goodness, it's so hard on this thing. Uh, if you want to double down on correctness, go functional. Dude, I, am, I, I, I don't know if that's true for me. Okay, I think I might be a little too stupid for this. All right. I feel like I need to... Here, here, let's go like this. I'm going to print... Welcome to Costco. I love you. Hey, thank you. Exaru, I appreciate that. <coughs> oh my goodness. So I think, okay, print uh, int list. I appreciate that for that brand new Twitch Prime. How was the stream? Uh, you see it. How was the stream? I, I forgot to give you a shout out. Shout out. Uh, check him out. He's right here. Follow him. If you feel less stupid, if you change that fold left into a filter map. Uh, dude, don't even try that with me. Please don't give me that kind of advice. That's like the worst possible advice. For someone who's struggling, you know. Giving them some sort of crazy, crazy answer like that. I'm like, uh, it's just stupid. I understand what you're saying. <laughs> why, why are you guys making me feel so stupid? 
You know, and I don't want to be that guy. I just don't want to be that guy. Why aren't you a string? Why isn't that a string? Why doesn't that just work? Why can't I make those two things go together? Am I am I confused at this one? Forget it. I, why am I doing this? Right? Yeah. There we go. Print int list. So I should be able to go print int list intersections intersections. Print uh, end line. So you go star. What are you? Oh gosh. Uh, what is it? What is it? String event. There we go. Thank you. I appreciate that. Kick Primogen when he's down uh, for 500 cheers. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. 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 I think I think we're close. All right. Let's see. Intersections. All right. So this one's claiming I'm only at 9,006. I'm only intersecting this one. Okay. I wonder why I miss this one. I end on seven. Oh, it's adjacent. Oh, fudge. Dang it. Oh, shit. <laughs> it's adjacent. <coughs> Dang it. It's adjacent. It's not intersecting. It's adjacent. But I think there's something wrong here. I think there's something wrong here. I mean, yeah, I got the answer. Fudge. I feel like I'm cheating. I feel like I'm cheating. I think I am cheating because I have right and left. I feel like I'm cheating. And I don't like that. Because when I do my intersections, I do right, left. And so I should be taking my position, which is just where the star's at, right? So when I get starred list... I get star list, which is just simply the list of star positions. Yeah. Yes. <gasps> okay, I think I see what's what I think I see what's going wrong here. I think I'm seeing what's going wrong here. I think I see what's going wrong here. I, I'm so dumb. Okay, so start and end are inclusive values. They are inclusive values, whereas the other projections are not inclusive values. End is not inclusive. That's my problem. So if my start is less than the end, which is exclusive, that means I think this, it feels like that's supposed to be that way. Because that would make it adjacent, right? But I think this makes it so I intersect too heavily, doesn't it? I, I swear it's supposed to be this. But then if I do that, I over I over intersect. So let's just think about that for a second. My start can rest. It has to be the same number as the end. Correct. But my end can be the same number as my start. Correct. So why am I intersecting this? Damn it. Okay, because it's from six to nine. And my star is from... That feels like it should be it. Why are my stars off by one by any chance? Uh, remember, I add one to the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's that's correct. One, two, three, four, five, 
six. So I should be intersecting this. So it should be one, two, let's see, two, three, four, five, which means my start Oh, I'm double expanding this thing. I'm double expanding this thing. So my starts, those are hard values. I am truly testing for intersections. Okay, so I'm truly testing for intersections. That's my problem. So my start has to be less than my end, right? Like I have to be intersecting it. That's my problem. My end... My end value if my start is less than the end and my end value and my end value is greater than start Yes. If my end value is greater than start. I think that's it. Which means that the other side would be that my start value is before or equal to the start here and my end value has to simply be greater than start. Okay, so that, that I must be getting this last one wrong. I, I, this is correct. This I'm struggling with a little bit. I need to just draw this. I need to just draw this, right? Bye, everyone. See ya. All right, I'm, I just, I just got to draw it. Dude, trying to do this in my head sometimes, not good. All right, so really what we're testing is this. So this is case one and then case two. Right? Okay. So these are hard values. They are all inclusive. Okay? These are all inclusive values. This is inclusive, not inclusive. Not inclusive. Inclusive. Now, what I could do is I could just drop the non-inclusive part. So let's just do that to begin with because this is just getting way too hard to try to manage in your brain. You know what I mean? So we're going to get this projection list. And then I need to have start plus length plus length minus one. Yes. So now we have inclusive, 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 which means I should just be able to say like, hey, if my start is less than or equal to the end, which would be like this, right? They're the same value. If my start is less than or equal to the end, and my end is gr is greater than the start, then we know we're there, right? Because then it works like this, right? The same thing works then right here. You see that? Yeah. Okay. And then the same thing here. If my end, if my end is equal to the start, if my start is less than the start my start is less than or equal to the start and my end is greater than or equal to the start yeah okay i think i can just do i think i can just do those now across the board right yes okay i think that's right first try see it was that simple people it was literally that simple. Why didn't you guys figure that out yourself? Easy peasy. It was that easy. Is that like what? Were you guys really struggling on that? <laughs>